Welcome back. You're watching the game. This year's FIBA Basketball World Cup takes place for the first time across three host nations, the Philippines, Japan, and Indonesia, from August 25 to September 10. Now, 32 teams, eight groups of four, play in a bid to clinch the coveted Naismith Trophy, culminating in the finals to be held here in the Philippines, the country's biggest basketball event ever. Kathy Yang spoke to NBA Deputy Commissioner and Chief Operating Officer Mark Tatum. Tatum is also a member of the FIBA Executive Committee, and this is what he had to say about the significance of the World Cup. You'll feel a lot more of the energy when we hold the World Cup Finals. It's going to be held here in the Philippines, and what a treat for the basketball fans out there because it's not only be, uh, the tournament being held here, the finals, but the entire Team USA competing in the <laughs> tournament. Absolutely. Of the finals and of all the games. That's so right. how do you think that's going to go down? I think it's going to be incredible, right? Team USA is going to be stationed here in the Philippines for the entirety of the competition. But there's going to be 32 teams in this competition. 20 of them, at least, are going to have some NBA players. So whether you're here in the Philippines watching the USA team or watching other teams that have NBA players or in Indonesia or Japan, NBA players are going to be everywhere for this World Cup, which is terrific. So let's let's make that out with the numbers. Like it, it could be at least at least more than sixty. Absolutely, 60 yeah. Sixty NBA players. That's in the FIBA World Cup. Absolutely, not just American players, but NBA players like Luka Doncic and Giannis Antetokounmpo representing their national teams. The entire Canadian national team is going to be, in essence, NBA players. So um, we're seeing the level of competition now in our international players. There's 25 percent of NBA players today were born outside the United States. That's over 120 players in our league that were not born in the United States. So um, whether you're from the United States or not, uh, there's going to be an amazing competition here because the level of basketball in this World Cup, I think, will be unprecedented. And the level of energy, you can just imagine in a country like the Philippines where basketball is revered, that's going to push the players to even be at their best when it comes to the finals here in the Philippines. But how important is that for the development of international basketball as we know it? You've said the statistics, it's a 25% growth, but what do we see going forward? Oh, I think that there's going to be a tremendous amount of momentum that happens in this region coming out of this World Cup. I think one of the things that sparked the interest of the international game was the 1992 Dream Team when we first sent NBA players to participate in the Olympics. And that team, I know, inspired generations of future NBA players and actually some who are going into the Hall of Fame this year. That's so. right, like uh, Dirk Kowalski. Yeah, yeah Dirk okay. Nowitzki yes. and Pau Gasol and Tony Parker. Tony Parker from France, so that's from Germany, yes. from Spain and France. So Absolutely. these are international players who actually took an interest in basketball because of the Dream Team. Absolutely. Tony Parker tells this story that in his career, he wore number nine. And the reason he wore number nine is because Michael Jordan wore number nine in the Dream Team in the, in the Olympics in 1992. So Tony Parker, who probably would have grown up to become a professional athlete, and maybe grown up in France, you end up going to play football or soccer uh, at that time, but Michael Jordan inspired him to play basketball. And now he's going to the Hall of Fame this year. So uh, players like Tony and Powell and Dirk, that Dream Team really inspired them to play basketball, to bounce a ball versus kick a ball. And I think with these, with these competition here, in the Philippines and Indonesia and Japan, young kids are going to be inspired to want to play the game of basketball. So I, that, I think, is going to be the legacy that this World Cup leads. And then maybe one day soon, there will be a homegrown player from the Philippines who ends up playing in the NBA because they saw NBA players here and they grew up wanting to be an NBA player. That was Mark Tatum of NBA and FIBA speaking with Kathy Yang. Catch the full interview in our new program, Thought Leaders, airing on May 9, 9.30 p.m. Meanwhile, the 2023 FIBA World Cup draw is coming to Manila this Saturday, April 29 at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Find out which of the 32 teams in the FIBA World Cup will be grouped together in the preliminary stage. Catch special appearances by basketball legend Luis Cola and performances from Sarah Geronimo, Billy Crawford, and global film artist Sweetie. 
Thank you for joining us. I'm Dip Dipiaco. Catch us weeknights here on One News, One Sports, and One Sports Plus. I'm Paolo De Rosario. This has been The Game.